let's end with this this segment, Oh Jesus, which is really taking on a, a life of its own. I thought it was going to die, but it has somehow risen. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Get ready for Bill is the dumbest person on the planet. All right, Bill, for what it's worth, I think you're fucking crazy and irresponsible, exclamation point. I can never say that. Excla- excla- exclaim. Exclamation. There we go. Exclamation point. That's one of the, you know those words that you kind of know how to say, but you just sort of fly through them? Exclamation point. Uh, what kind of person talks about God like that? You, and I love this shit. This is what they all do. You should, and I believe deep down inside you are, be ashamed of yourself, dude. This is what I love about these fucking maniacs is they're so wrapped up into what they believe that they, they listen to how much this person just keeps fucking including other invisible people and then superimposing what he believes into what you know he thinks I truly believe because he's so wrapped up in his own fucking world that he can't possibly even fathom that somebody has a difference of opinion on this subject. So he goes, uh, you should, and I believe deep down inside you are, be ashamed of yourself, dude. Are your mom and dad still alive? What exactly does that have to do with any? Your shtick with respect to God is hurtful, offensive, offensive, and despicable. Um, three things. It always has to be three things. It can't be hurtful and despicable or offensive and hurtful. It has to be hurtful, offensive, and despicable. Just like comedy it has to come in threes. Um, how difficult it must be to spew hatred and vulgarities for shock value laughs. No talent in that, my friend. That's the classic place that people go um, whenever you, you, whenever you, this is the classic guy where everything is funny until it comes around to the subject that they take seriously 100% and no one can even joke it, joke about it or even question it on any level. And then they always say that you're just doing it for shock because they find it shocking. It's like, really, my views on women, women haven't been, you know, that didn't offend you. All the shit that I've said over the two fucking years, none of that has offended you. And now all of a sudden this does. Anyway, so he goes, enjoy your success, air quotes, and all the money you are making on the backs of hardworking, decent people that understand what it means to follow the rules and be the best they can be without putting other people and God down. The rest of us are watching and we are not laughing. <clears throat> Dude, how many people are in your bedroom as you're... <laughs> Do you have a group podcast listening party every week? All right, let's get back to that. Oh, evidently, I am making uh, money on the backs of hardworking, decent people. So let me get this straight. Because I'm standing on a stage, evidently what I'm doing is not hard work. And if people are sitting in the audience, automatically they are all decent, hardworking people. And, and not only that, I'm making money on the backs of them. Really? Do I have some sort of comedy sweatshop, uh, you know, comedy factory with sweatshop labor? What I do is actually uh, takes advantage of no one. I stand on a stage and I, I, I tell jokes. And if you like what I say, you, you sit and listen. And if you don't, you walk out. Right? Where, where you know, and I love how just because you're in the crowd, that means you're a decent human being. Do you know the, the amount of fucking freaks and scumbags that come up to me? This is what I found at a comedy show for the most part. Decent people, they leave after the show. Ah, I don't want to bug them. And then they walk out. And then maniacs. <laughs> come up to me, you know, let's do some Jaeger, and they fucking spitting in your face and shit, you know, believe me. All right, but I know I made fun of God, so now, uh, you know, uh, now all of a sudden, I'm, uh, now all of a sudden, you want to talk about people making, making money off of decent, hardworking people, take a look at fucking organized religion. All right, those guys, are, those guys are living pretty good, scaring the fucking shit out of you every goddamn week. All right, and I'm entitled to an opinion, and I never was cramming my opinion down your throat. I wasn't, okay? You believe in what you believe in, and I 100% respect that, but I have the right to question it, you know? And you shouldn't find it shocking that I question it. You should, shouldn't should you just be what Jesus would do? Wouldn't Jesus just start praying for me? Anyways, let's, let's continue this. Just in case you're interested, I was raised Catholic, married and raised my children Catholic, and definitely have my doubts about the whole organized religion thing. Great, so you agree with me. Not even sure that I believe in God. 
Once again, there's another point that we, that we agree on. I lost my father three years ago and never would have uttered these words in his presence. Neither would I. Why did my voice go up so high? Neither would I. Dude, I did it on a podcast. All right, I'm sorry your father passed away, but, you know, that has nothing to do with me. Do you understand what you're doing here? Now all of a sudden you're making it seem like I'm walking in with my Mr. Microphone into the intensive care saying there's no God. You know, whispering into somebody's ear in a coma. You just go into the ground. We're all like deer. I'm not doing that. I'm doing a podcast and I'm fucking around. All right? If you want to take it seriously, that's your problem. Okay? And if you want to bring up your, your father passing away as some way to try to guilt me in to feeling like I mean, you know, what I'm saying in a hateful, hurtful fucking way. Dude, those are all your issues. They have nothing to do with me. All right? Then he goes on to say that his dad believed that there is something out there responsible for all the beauty in the world, uh, in our world, and for our lives as human beings. I don't even disagree with that. I just know human beings have no idea what it is until they fucking die. So I'm not going to sit there and listen to another human being who tries to scare the shit out of me and who's living in a fucking palace telling me that if I become rich, I'm not going to heaven. I'm not out of my mind to think that that reeks of a fucking scam the same way late at night when they have those fucking gold coins that evidently are worth 50 bucks and they're selling them for 19.99. That that doesn't reek of a scam. Somebody actually sent me a, uh, an email. Of course, I didn't save it. Evidently, it's sprayed with like a dollar something worth of gold. Okay, so they're making, what is that, a 2,000% profit? All right? Believe it or not, just because you're walking around talking about religion and the afterlife and, and doing unto others and you're talking this great game, it doesn't mean that you can't be full of shit. All right? Okay, and I'm not saying that I'm right about what I feel, but this is just, it, it reeks of, 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 of a scam. I really believe that there is some sort of thing out there, and I wouldn't be surprised if there is something after this. I wouldn't be surprised if you just go into the ground and you decay and you give life to the next fucking thing. I wouldn't be surprised if Earth is punishment for something that I did in a a different solar system. That's another thing about religion. Forget about the dinosaurs. It doesn't even bring up space. Okay, let's say there is this all-powerful being, okay? Okay, and I'm just trying to question this right now. So I'm not trying to be shocking or I'm just questioning this. Let's say there is this all-powerful being that created the everything that there is. Okay? The entire solar system. Why would you do all of that and just put people on this one planet? That's like you created and and, uh, uh, you built this house that has an infinity, basically, amount of rooms bedrooms, and you just put everybody, you're only using one room in the house. It doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. And that's the one thing about Scientology. For as much shit as people give Scientology, at least it has the brains to incorporate outer space. You know? (laughs) I don't know if that's a really good point or if that's really fucking stupid, but, you know, I don't fucking know. So anyways, yeah, dude, I wasn't trying to offend you or anything that you fucking... I was just trying to be funny, and I'm just fucking around. And if you want to take this shit seriously, that that is totally your fucking choice. Um, You know, that's it, all right? I'm fucking done with that. All right, let's move on to the next person trashing me. Um, What the fuck? 